This pillow is being made to um, give to my daughter-in-law and my son. They're celebrating their second wedding anniversary. This was a photo taken before the wedding in front of a stained glass window. And I just kind of wanted to depict the stained glass window. So now let's see how you make the pillow. Here's the stained glass fabric. Underneath that is black t-shirt fabric. I cut the black t-shirt fabric larger than my cutout of the picture that I had photocopied. And as you can see, now I've drawn the picture, the photocopy picture of them dancing on the stained glass fabric. And the pins are depicting where the edges are of the black fabric so that I know that I stay within the black t-shirt area. And this is just a close-up of the photocopy showing what the picture looked like. And the important parts of the picture are that there shows their separation, that you can tell what is within the image also, because I've done a couple of other silhouette reverse applique images and they just haven't turned out well. So you need to make sure that your image is has some separation to it. The next important step is to flip it over and then baste in place the black fabric, the t-shirt fabric, so that when you take it to the sewing machine, it's not going to shift while you're sewing the image on the, uh, the traced lines on the stained glass window side fabric. This is after I sewed on the trace lines. And one of the keys to reverse applique that I really like is you end up doing two stitches of it. So you trace, you stitch on top of your trace line and then you go back over it again, but you stitch just outside the first stitch line. And here's a close up of the two stitch lines just to show where and how it looks. And keep in mind when you get ready to cut out the reverse applique, you are going to be cutting out the bodies or the image, not on the outside of the image. And we'll show that a little later. This is another shot just showing the two stitching lines plus my basting stitch that is still in there so that my t-shirt fabric was held stable while I was doing the, the stitching on the trace lines. Something I forgot to mention was how big a square that you need for your top and for your back side of the pillow cover. The top needs to be the size of your pillow for this particular one, and then the back side, which was denim, was cut three inches longer. And I also sewed a little hem in both raw edges that will not be stitched together, as you can see there. It's all ready now to take to the sewing machine to stitch the top together, just from the, the stained glass window edge to the right all the way down from the top to the bottom on the stained glass window side and then from the right to the left of the stained glass window you want to leave the denim edge unsewn in the seam because that's going to tuck into the uh, pillow cover the pillow insert because once you get it all stitched you're going to turn it right side out tuck in your pillow insert fold in the denim edge which will cover the pillow insert. Now it's time to take your small fine scissors and cut out along the stitching line on the inside piece of the silhouette. You are only cutting the stained glass fabric. You are not cutting the t-shirt fabric. So be sure you stop and think about which side of the stitching lines you're going to be cu cutting because you can't go back after that. 
here's just a glimpse of what this cutout is going to look like and I really really like the two stitching it kind of gives it a little bit more definition of the image so give that a try the next time that you are thinking about doing a reverse image applique and coming up is the picture of the finished product and here's the finished product bear in mind it will have the raw edges showing but that's exactly what I wanted and that's typically what raw or reverse applique is all about and then there's a close-up of the hands here or at least the details of the arm so that it just gives it more definition I think and I hope that you will get brave enough to try this I'm going to keep trying to do some reverse applique also want you to notice that I did take time to place my uh, image onto the stained glass like fabric so that it kind of looked balanced in the fabric hope you'll give reverse applique a try also and comment on your successes or your failures and be sure to share photos with others about your experiences with reverse applique thanks for watching take care